So, Court of the Dead was a huge project for you and continues to be. What's next for Sideshow? Uh, the Court of the Dead has uh, essentially emboldened our, our push into original things. So we're looking to you know, build our platform so that we can continue to launch out Court of the Dead's content, but looking to use that stage further for other interesting ideas that touch on altogether different worlds. Certainly simpler worlds. The Court of the Dead is about as big a one as I can manage. So, uh, but we do have some other exciting uh, adventures to share as well in both 3D and 2D. Anything you can talk to us about today, or? Uh, well, we uh, there's a there's a piece that we're working on right now that's a little bit of a sort of gunslinger chic car culture and and really ties into the kind of collector world that Sideshow sits in uh, through a sort of post-apocalyptic kind of a lens that I think will be a lot of fun. Your influences are dark, but at the same time you're a very approachable, affable guy. So how do you kind of balance that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess it's like that serial killer thing. You know, <laughs> he, he seemed like a happy guy. No. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, I think it's, uh, I think the dark themes that I, you know, that appeal to me kind of come from the point that I, you know, uh, various life experiences that I've had have all been on the positive side, but uh, in just looking at the balance of things and, and that there's a, there's, it's not an allure, it's really more of a thing of wanting to understand, mm -hmm. you know, that, 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 you know, I accept that I live in a world where there are dark things and I want to kind of, you know, you know not reject, or not, maybe reject is not the right word, but it's, you know, I kind of I kind of want to understand why they are, and mm -hmm. I think that in understanding that, I learn more about myself and how I can deal with those things when I encounter them. Mm -hmm. So I think in the way that you know they used to put gargoyles and hideous things on you know medieval architecture as a way to kind of ward off evil spirits, uh, it has an aspect of that. This is my way of kind of digesting and dealing with a world that sometimes can get awfully frightening in what it's presenting. But uh, you know, I want to be able to look at it with a certain level of balance and, and moderation so that if I have an opportunity to do something about it, I'm, I'm ready to act.